In this presentation, we'll start with a new topic called enumeration in C. So let's get started. An enumerated type is a user-defined type which is used to assign names to integral constants because names are easier to handle in program, right? Here, enumerated type is a user-defined type. Again, it is a user-defined type like structure and union which is used to assign names to integral constants. Its main purpose is to assign names to integral constants, right? So that we can handle them easily. For example, here we have declared an enum bool and these are the names false and true, right? Within this main function, we have been declaring a variable of type enum bool and we are assigning it a value, which is not a value basically, which is a name that is true and it is actually representing some integral constant. We are just printing this value on the screen. Here false and true are the names to integral constants. It is quite clear that false and true are the names to integral constants, right? It is just declared like a structure, right? Here instead of struct keyword, you have an enum keyword. Here you've been writing bool and within these curly braces, you have been mentioning all those names to integral constants, right? And then obviously you have a semicolon at the end. If we do not assign values to enum names, then automatically compiler will assign values to them starting from zero, right? It is very important for us to understand that if you are not assigning values to these names, then automatically compiler will assign values to them starting from zero. This means that false will get value 0 and true will get 1, right? So here we have been declaring a variable of this type enum bool, which means that this variable can store either false or true, right? Here we are storing this value true, which means that it is actually storing value 1, right? And if we print this out on the screen, we'll get this output that is 1. So starting from 0, compiler will assign values to these names. False will get value 0, true will get value 1, which is quite clear in this case. This variable is of type enum bool, which means that it can take values either true or false. Okay? Hey, but we can also use hash defined to assign names to integral constants. Then why do we even need enum? Remember, hash defined is used to assign names to integral constants. Enum is also used to assign names to integral constants. Then why do we even need enum? If we have hash defined already, then why do we even need enum? Let's see the answer to this question. There are two important reasons why we are using enums. Enums can be declared in the local scope, that is the first reason. And enum names are automatically initialized by the compiler. These two reasons are enough to understand that why we are using enums. First, enums can be declared in the local scope. And the other one is enum names are automatically initialized by the compiler. Let me elaborate these reasons one by one. Reason number one, enums can be declared in the local scope. Here we can declare enums in the local scope, right? This enum is not visible outside of this main function, right? This enum is declared within the local scope, within this scope only. Obviously other functions cannot see this enum, right? With hash define, this is not possible. We know that hash define has to be written in the top of the program. Hence, it is in the global scope. Every function can see it. While in this case, this enum bool is visible only within this function. Hence, this enum is not visible outside of this main function. Second reason is enum names are automatically initialized by the compiler. We know that false will get value 0 and true will get value 1, right? Hence, automatic initialization is a very good feature which helps us in using enums in our programs, right? Okay. There are some important facts related to enums. Let's see them one by one. Fact number one, two or more names can have same value. This is very important for us to understand. Here in this case, we have an enum point, which consists of these names x, y, and z, and we are initializing them with some values. Here we are initializing them with the same value that is zero, right? And we are trying to print them on the screen. The output is zero, zero, zero. It is possible that we can assign same values to all the names. It is not the case that every time we will assign different values to the names, we can assign same values as well. There is no problem. Obviously, we can also declare a variable of this type enum point and then we can assign it either x, y or z instead of assigning simply the values, right? But we can also use these names directly without even declaring a variable or any object of type enum point, okay? This has to be understood. That is why we're using these names in this case. Always remember that the main job of enum is to assign names to integral constants. And here we are just using these names. Fact number two, we can assign values in any order. All unassigned names will get value as value of a previous name plus one. This is quite interesting. Here in this case, we have y is equals to two, x equals 24. We do not have any value for t and z is equals to zero. What this t will get? 
this t will get value 35. As it is written over here that all unassigned names will get value as value of previous name plus 1. So value of previous name is 34 and if we add 1 to it, it will be 35. So t will get value 35. Okay. Here, order doesn't matter. We are simply printing these names on the screen. So the output is 34, 2, 35. Fact number 3. Only integral values are allowed. Here in this case, we are giving float value to this name y, which is not allowed. Okay. Only integral values are allowed. Output is enumerator value for y is not an integer constant. It is an error message which has been displayed. That is enumerator value for y is not an integer constant, which is true. Fact number four. All enum constant must be unique in their scope. This is very important point for us to understand. Here we have enum point one and enum point two. These are two different enumerators but are declared within the same scope, right? Here we have these names x, y and z within this enum point 1 and we have x, p and q within this enum point 2. We are redeclaring x here in this case as well in point 2 which is not allowed. Okay. Hence, we are getting this error message. Redeclaration of enumerator x. We are redeclaring this name x. That is why it is producing an error message which is not allowed. Redeclaration of name within the same scope is not allowed. Okay. I hope all these points are clear to you. Okay friends, this is it for now. I'll see you in the next one.